Hello everybody and welcome to some more BD Armoury. Uh, yes, we have a new craft. This is the Lynx. This was the craft I uh, I designed in a recent live stream with the input of the community. If you want to see that, I'll put some links in the description. <laughs> uh, please don't leave. Anyway, yes, this is intended as a replacement for my rapidly aging Panther fighter. So we're going to do what we've done in the past when I have a new fighter. We're going to put it up against my uh, my current lineup of best fighters. Uh, but first of all, let's go and take a look and see how it flies. Yeah, it's it's a manoeuvrable little sod. I'll give it that. It can turn pretty sharply, not as sharp as some of the craft we've seen. Um, I should say this is most definitely not the finished article. There's still plenty of tweaking to be done, but yeah, it is it is quite a good craft by this point. I've already done. Uh, I've uh, I've moved a few things about since the live stream. I've uh, updated the tuning, and it's performing pretty well. But. Yeah, a little bit of distance left to go. Um, as with uh, as with my last few fighters, I did try to take it under the under the little bridge in the uh, in the R and D center, and I got it first time. Only the second time I managed to do that, and the first time I actually remembered to record the damn thing, which uh, which is an improvement. But anyway, yes, we need to put this thing into combat against the uh, the three craft which constitute my current lineup. So uh, let's go see what happens with that. So we start, as luck would have it, by pitting my new creations against the very craft they are here to replace my Panthers. And <laughs> if the Lynxes don't win this one, then uh, yeah, there's going to be trouble. Uh, unlike um, the most recent fighter subscriber, we're not going for uh, battle damage or, uh, or heart bleed. It's just going to be a straight up traditional fight. Let's get it going. So here we go then. Um, my one concern about this fight is um, dodging those missiles because that's sort of been the Lynx's one kind of Achilles heel. I think I need to sort out uh, particularly the chaff placement because they just, yeah, seems to be a weakness of theirs. But uh, I'm sure we can uh, we can fine tune that, and this will be uh, this will be a, an incredibly effective craft. I hope. Ghosty Kerman has now uh, dispatched three of his four Amrams, switching to the uh, switching to the Sidewinders though at this range, getting a couple of them away, closing to gun range, getting those guns away, hitting the Panther. Doesn't appear to be terminal damage just yet. Not quite lining up the guns. More damage. More damage goes in. Gets another scorching. Yes, and one of the Panthers is ceremonious, well, unceremoniously dispatched. Legged Lat Kerman, in a bit of trouble here, has one of the lynxes on his tail. Here comes the bullets. That was that was an explosion of some description. Legged Lat Kerman in difficulty. What happened there? That looks like there was ah, I think it was a by the looks of thing, it was a collision. Ion Kerman in one of the lynxes crashes out. The other two lynxes look to be in good health though. I was worried about missile dodging. I was. Didn't really foresee. Uh, didn't really foresee any collisions like that. Uh, you should not be extending. I think there's a bit of a bug going on. Josh Kerman. Josh Kerman can ignore it and hopefully put the boot in to the Panthers. Gets a good start on it. Gets a very good start on it. Stripping that Panther of a great many of its part. Great many of its ports. Great many of its parts. And it looks like. Yeah, it's. Nigh on uncontrollable, and the sound bug has kicked in. Here comes Josh Kerman again. Adding insult to injury. Or just adding more injury. Adding further injury to injury. Coming around. How is... Ghosty Kerman. Ghosty Kerman still... Yeah, is coming around now to engage. Oh... No, the panther has crashed to the ground. No, there it is. Legged like Kerman. That's that's a lot of bullet holes. Anyway, yeah, and it's got a bit of a turn going on there as well. Anyway, apart from a bit of a crash and the sound bug rearing its ugly head again, it's a uh, its first test passed for the lynxes. Let's uh, let's move on and see if they can replicate that success.
The Lynxes will face a sterner test now, though, as they go up against my much more recent and much more capable Red Hawk. This, uh, this one's going to be interesting. Let's get it going. Here we go, then. Can, can the Lynxes avoid being hit by a missile and crashing into each other? And, yeah, there's... <laughs> There's a growing list of things to sort of iron out with this craft, but I think we've got a cape one. The turn rate, the turn rate, sorry, the roll rate could also do with a little bit of improvement. Like the actual turn rate itself is, is not a weakness with these craft. They can, uh, yeah, very capable there. Josh Kerman popping the chaff, getting very low, hopefully avoiding those missiles. Only, it's only managed to get two of his own Amrams away. It comes around now though. Oh, those missiles are getting close. I think the, it looks like the Lynxes will have to, uh, to get into close range combat with most of their, ah, with most of their missiles with them. And it looks like, yeah, with almost all their missiles with them, one of the Lynxes is gone. One of the Lynxes is gone, which is not good news. Josh Kerman and one of the Red Hawks getting a little bit of mutual damage. We'll have to come around. Um, yeah, carrying a lot of extra weight now. This is so far from ideal, it's not true. I'm not too worried if they don't win this one. Um, the Red Hawks are the craft I did a lot of the testing against, and they do beat them nine times out of ten, but as I said, not... Wow! Okay. <laughs> not that... Not as good as they can be at dodging missiles, something that needs a little bit of work. So uh, a lucky missile kill may have swayed this one for the Red Hawks. We'll have to see what happens from here on out though. Josh Kerman getting some heavy damage into one of the Red Hawks. It doesn't look like it's going to be enough for the moment. What was that? That is a lot of debris. Red Hawk, Red Hawk debris. My heart stopped for a moment. Josh Kerman gets another really nice hit on one of the Red Hawks. Luna Kerman is in trouble. The Lynx on her tail. A little bit squirrely for it at the moment, so it goes flying past. Will serve as a distraction, though. That might be bad. Luna Kerman kind of determined to try and see this one through. Ah, uh, Luna Kerman just about manages to avoid crashing into the ground. Has not shaken the attention of that uh, of that lynx. More damage rains in. Just needs to get that final blow, and then that lynx can go and help out Swingman. Oh, it might already be too late. Josh Kerman has taken some heavy damage, lost one of his engine nacelles, and it looks like before too long it might not even be two versus one. Oh, that's looking that's looking like some better damage now. Okay. Yeah, Luna Kerman will crash into the ground and uh, Josh Kerman will come around to face. Sound bug. Sodding sound bug. Josh Kerman will come around to, to face the other Red Hawks and does so quite conveniently with a pretty full complement of missiles. So maybe now we'll be able to get those away. <laughs> maybe a lucky missile hit. Maybe a lucky missile hit for the Lynxes here. No such luck for the moment. Is Ghosty Kerman going to go in with the uh, with the Sidewinders? Has a missile coming in himself. Two Sidewinders. Manages to dodge them. Manages to dodge them brilliantly. Goes for the Sidewinders himself. That's a little too long range. Oh, taking damage, though, from the Red Hawk that uh, was on his tail. Two versus one. Ah, this is going to be... This is going to be very difficult. I think the Lynx does have it in its locker, but it, it's going to have to start doing something very soon because taking more damage is not going to help things. Yeah, that's just stripped... Uh, that's just stripped Ghosty Kerman of the last of his missiles, which might be a help. As he's now a lot lighter. God, this fight's going on for ages. Tries coming around. No, the Red Hawk was better to it, and the Red Hawk wins. As I said, not too worried. It test fights the Lynx did win there. Uh, did win, uh, as I said, about 90% of the time, but um, 
yeah. A fair amount of random chance involved in these fights. Josh Kerman just, um, just chilling. As the other Red Hawks try to, uh, try to finish him off. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on to our final fight. One regular test left of my links is then. I say regular because I do have one last thing up my sleeve for these, uh, for these craft. As they go up against the most recent of my craft, the Spike Tails. Let's, um, let's get them into the air. Here we go then. One good result, one not so good result. Let's see if the uh, the Lynxes can uh, get something positive here. Hmm. Yeah, the spike tells they were my best craft. Actually, I was doing some testing. I ch I did a lot of tuning on the Red Hawk and the Spike Tail before the last uh, Fighter Subscriber season. And after that tuning, I think the Red Hawk was marginally better than the Spike Tail. So. Maybe a bit more chance of um, of a win here, but we'll have to see. Getting to uh, within at uh, Sidewinder range here on um, Kerman, having to pop some more countermeasures. Has got uh, all of his Amrams away, so hopefully this will be positive as a Sidewinder goes shooting past him. Very nearly some friendly fire incident there. Oh, does have an excellent shot now on one of the spike tails. Gets some damage. I'm not sure if uh, if it was enough. It doesn't look to be seriously harmed. Does get guns away now though. Bit of a joust going on. Comes back around. Uh, yeah, the spike tails are very manoeuvrable. That's my one worry here. Josh Kerman, sorry, Ion Kerman. I think he's decided to uh, to try pick out another target. Ah, uh, that's one of the spike tails going for missiles. This is Ion Kerman trying to line up a shot and not managing it. Might have a bit more luck now though comes around. Oh, that is, that is so perfect. That is so perfect. Ah, can't quite. Yeah, two craft, both very, very manoeuvrable. So turning battles, yeah, are no simple thing. Oh, that's, that's looking good though. That is looking good. Can't quite manage it. And the, uh, the sound bug kicks in. Let's go see what everyone else is doing. Josh Kerman, something looks like it's just about to explode. That is one of the Lynxes in some trouble, it looks like. Ghosty Kerman has taken a bit of a hit. Yes, has lost uh, has lost an air intake, but otherwise seems to be in uh, in good health. Might unbalance him slightly, but shouldn't be too much. One of the Spike Tails taking some heavy damage over there. It just seems, yeah, that Spike Tails are getting the better of the hits at the moment, I think. Yeah. Need to uh, need to adjust the tuning on these on these uh, lynxes. Although in both cases, in the case of both the uh, both the uh, red hawk and the spike tail, they have definitely given the uh, given those craft a good a good fight. Luna Kerman in difficulty, spinning round might make her a bit of a sitting duck if any of the uh, if any of the lynxes are currently interested in her, and indeed one of them is. And yes, so not good news for the Lynxes to start with, but now, now it's three against two. Three against two in relative silence. <laughs> oh, damn you, Soundbug, damn you. Ghosty Kerman. Yeah. In terms of shot stability, I think they're, uh, they're pulling their shots, uh, they're sort of undershooting a little bit, so yeah, that's something that could be taken care of in the tune, but... Considering that, I think they've had a pretty good, uh, a pretty good series of fights. Josh Kerman. If the Lynxes will need to make that extra, that extra craft count now, though. Josh Kerman. Yeah, it's that roll raid I was talking about. Can't quite bring the craft round enough. Maybe some extra aileron surface needed. Josh Kerman still has one of his AMRAMs left. Comes around. Comes around. Two of the Lynx is trying to get line guns up. Just trying to avoid them. Baby Raider sounds in the background. The other Lynx does manage to get a bit of a hit on it. Oh my god, another one of the Spike Tails is gone. It's three against one. It is three against one. It looks like it will be a more positive result. <laughs> Something goes falling off of the Spike Tail. I think that was the uh, the right hand landing gear. This this just feels weird doing this in in just with absolutely no game noise apart from the occasional 
<laughs> the occasional sound of the Vulcan cannons. Okay. Okay, that's better. Yes, the spike tails. The spike tails do succumb to the lynxes, who, um, despite some superficial damage, yeah, come through it relatively unscathed. Anyway, I did say there was one more thing I wanted to throw at them, so uh, let's go. Uh, let's go take a look at that. Now, recently we had the Community Panther Challenge, where my subscribers tried to. Uh, Try to update, try to do a better version of the Panther, the craft that the Lynx is trying to replace. And in that video, I said I was holding one of them back and I wanted it for this. I wanted to test the replacement I've made against the replacement that one of my subscribers has made. I think I may have chosen the wrong one, though. This is the Lekan 102 Super Panther by Titan RT. And if you know anything about Titan RT and his Lekan series of craft, you'll know that my Lynxes are in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm not really expecting to win this one. Um, let's uh, let's see, let's see what happens anyway. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. What will happen here? I have just noticed that the uh, the Lekan 102s they are using the Panther engines like my uh, my original Panthers did. Um, it was it was just a coincidence, as I've said. So maybe a little bit of that's an explosion. What's just happened? Oh my god, Iron Comb has just committed missile suicide. Okay, that's not a good start. <laughs> One of the other Lynxes has fallen to a missile. <laughs> Josh Kerman, you're our only hope. <laughs> Can you at least salvage some pride for us? Can you actually get one of the Lowe's Lekkins down with with a missile of your own. That would be that would be really handy at this point. <laughs> they do seem to be distracted by the remnants of my other craft, so maybe an opportunity there ah, dodges a couple of sidewinders and closes to what must be gun range. No, does go for a sidewinder there. Does just about miss the uh, just about misses the Lekkin. Uh How are the Ion Kerman, Ion Kerman, my word, this this Kerbal has balls of steel. Ion Kerman coming up around, trying, trying his hardest. Oh my god, Josh Kerman is actually doing a hefty amount of damage to one of the Super Panthers. Um, one of the Super Panthers is out of fuel, and what the hell is happening here? Hang on a second. Yeah. All the Super Panthers are out of fuel. I'm not sure how much Titan put in these craft, but... Um, well, hey, a win's a win, I suppose. I'm, 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 I'm counting it. I am certainly taking that, because... <laughs> I'm going to get bugger all against the rest of his Lekkan craft. Anyway, that will be all for today, as my Lynxes run about trying to finish these, uh, these Lekkans off, uh, including Ion Kerman who I i don't give him much of a chance. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider uh, liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, great KSP and BD Armoury community on there. Um, there are also... Um, there are also links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the description if you want to help support the channel. I will be back soon with some more BD Armoury, uh, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.